Where has the summer gone? It certainly hasn't been around here for the last month, but as always, we may do and we have a good time anyways. I have changed the videos and sent out a video a couple of weeks ago outlining uh, some of the changes in direction. And so I will give you a link to that video and that will explain the background as to uh, what we're going to be doing in the future. So I chose a card from the Gifts of Character and the card that I chose on behalf of all of us is Prayerfulness. Prayerfulness is a relationship with a power greater than ourselves, one that loves us and knows us intimately. We live in the presence of our Creator, mindful that every act, decision, and thought is meaningful. Prayer is quiet reflection that cleanses the mirror of the soul. It is a sacred conversation that opens us up to forgiveness, hope, and renewed intentions. We live and receive spiritual guidance. We ask for help, heighten our awareness, and watch for it to come. Praying our gratitude keeps us in the flow of grace. And we know that the universe or source or the Akashic records uh, documents or records everything that we think, say, and do. Certainly our unconscious mind uh, remembers everything. Our conscious mind, only 10% of us, just remembers the basic things that happened in the last little bit. However, the unconscious mind remembers everything. What we rem remember at a conscious level is really just our perception of what went on around us. And so when we think about what has been recorded and what is constantly recorded about our thoughts, our words, and our actions, certainly our prayers are recorded and our, our prayers are always answered. However, the ticket is, is they aren't always answered the way we might think they should be or what we're expecting. And so the uh, idea of prayerfulness too is to surrender to what the universe deems as your highest good. And I'm thinking about times when I have made a decision and then prayed that uh, the decision was correct. And if things didn't actually fall into place the way I thought they should, then I started the what ifs and the oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And in hindsight, when I look back on those times when I really questioned whether I had made the correct decision, um, it always flowed and it always came out the way it should have. So things happen for a reason and the result um, we really need to be unattached to, just surrender to what comes. One of the most difficult things um, that we as humans have to do, but that's our challenge. And the practice for prayerfulness, and I will list these on the screen. I spend sacred time each day. I pray my innermost thoughts, hopes, needs, and fears. I trust, listen, and watch for answers. I continually purify my motives. I have an attitude of gratitude. I live with an awareness of divine presence. And with that practice of prayerfulness, that really hits all those points that I made about my example of praying that my decision was right. And so with that, I'll leave you with this thought. I am thankful for the gift of prayerfulness. It connects me to grace. And with that, um, I'd ask you to journal and think about that over the next week. Certainly, I look forward to hearing from you either with my website, uh, my email, Facebook, or a telephone call. And with that, I'll say bye for now.